Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Happy Halloween and welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we're going to be blasting and discussing one of New Jersey's best bands ever. Respect New Jersey or prepare for eternal combat. I'm talking Siege Column, Dark Side, Legions, new full length on Nuclear War Now. First off, just bravo from a massive fan myself. Like, I first found out about Siege Column by complete accident. My buddy Pat and I were going to see Wendigang, Necra, and Horrendous, and we didn't know who Siege Column were at the time. This was 2017. Should have known, but we watched them do sound check, and it was like nothing I'd ever heard before. Like, it was this combination of almost early bolt thrower and arch goat, it, and it was just fucking incredible. And I got to witness them live twice at that Undergang show and then at Stardust Fest, along with a couple of their other bands. I've also seen like Altar of Gore, etc., etc., Massive Retaliation, but I am a huge Siege Column fan. Now, their last record was amazing Inferno Death Passion. Their split with Evil, I thought, had one of their best songs ever on it. And the two demos that started it all. Nocturnal Attack Formation and Secret Forces of the Pentagram. Both amazing, amazing releases. Prepare for combat. And alongside NVNM, Nuclear War Now took a hold of Siege Column and introduced them to a lot more than just the tri-state area. Siege Column is now one of the best bands in the American underground, and it's not just known in the tri-state area, so that's fucking awesome. I love seeing that NVNM Productions is making moves as well because of releases like Altar of Gore, Obscure and Obscene Gods, Burial Stone, Lost History, Blasphematory, Depths of the Obscurity, DSS, Dethroned Emperor, Massive Retaliation, Gauntlet, like, the NVNM list goes on and on, and all you gotta do is grab a volume, if possible, of New Jersey Attack Metal. One of the comps that you will find on NVNM, but they sell out fast as fuck, because the right people know about these releases, and a lot of stuff from NVNM, like this Altar of Gore demo, limited to 25 copies. I have number two because Joe rules. But Siege Column, they managed to capture their live sound better than ever here with Dark Side Legions. I seriously haven't been able to stop listening to this pretty much since its arrival earlier last earlier this week it's just absolutely fucking wonderful i love the art i actually wish i had the lp as well to go with this because it sounds phenomenal and this is the cassette version and i'm really really happy with how this turned out. Last time, I grabbed the LP of Inferno Death Passion, Prepare for Eternal War, and I love it. I love the sound and everything, but I also, I should have grabbed the cassette as well. And now I'm feeling the same, but opposite when it comes to Dark Side Legions. I really wanna get this on wax. 
because it's first off I want the artwork in 12 inches of in all of its glory because I just love how it, it's so ancient looking like it just looks like some long lost release that was unearthed like especially like these promo photos they're just fucking so on the money for Siege Column's sound and Siege Column I don't put them like in death metal like that's like a mayhem riff right there okay. but it's not it's a fucking Siege Column riff it just sounds like mayhem Cause Siege Column is all over the fucking board, which is why when that sound guy said, Whoa, this sounds like Bolt Thrower meets Arch Goat, I remember being like, Yeah, like I, I guess, cause I don't know how else to describe this. Like, it felt like a war metal attack, but it wasn't. It was something. I, I can't explain it but as soon as these boys put their chains on and got up on stage it was like fuck yeah man like Joe had his sunglasses on blasting inside it was awesome and I became obsessed with Siege Column I need to snag their new fucking snapback it's got the uh I'm kind of colorblind, but to me that's purple, and the hat really, really looks purple. And it just looks fucking great with the logo, and I want to support Siege Column as much as fucking possible. Because Siege Column might be two people at the end of the day, but in a live setting, there's so much talent on that stage. It's ridiculous. Like, you got guys that were in and, you know, fucking Death Fortress, Altar of Gore, Blasphematory, Burial Stone. Like I said, NVNM is no joke when it comes to their lineup and, like, their lineup as a label. Because to me, that's, like, as underground as it gets, is NVNM Productions. But seeing Nuclear War now pick up the cassette version of Dark Side Legions, I was like, whoa, I figured that would be an NVNM release. But still, nothing but respect for NVNM and nothing but respect for Siege Calm. The lyrics are great, and Dark Side Legions was recorded and mixed in the fall of 2019 and, twin and <laughs> winter of 2020 at DWNE in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Mastering by VK. Logo by Joe. Artwork by Rot Wheeler. And yeah, Siege Column fucking rules. New Jersey combat assault metal. I, I don't know how else to describe. Siege Columns, Auditory, Assault. You have tracks like Devil's Knights of Hell, Echoes from the Underworld, Snakeskin Mask, In the Stolen Tomb, Funeral Fiend, Dark Side Legions, Gloves of Fire, Speed of Omen Winds, and Buried in Lava. Fuck yeah, like... Real quick, this is all I really have to say about Siege Column, and I'll let the band say it for me.
many awesome riffs. Great drum sound, just love it. Siege Column, Dark Side Legions. Like, right now, this is my album of the year. And I'm not fucking around. Like, I love this so much. Fucking pump those fists, motherfuckers. Yeah, so I like the new Siege column just a little bit. But I have to thank John Randall for snagging this for the channel and myself. Dude, fuck yeah. I'm going to give you the Man of War hails. Brothers of Metal. But... Sisters of Metal as well. I appreciate everyone watching and supporting this channel. Fucking 20 bucks spin just uh, reissued my favorite Vastum record. Which they actually have on cassette, which I really need to get a copy of. But Patricidical Lust on... Patricidal Lust, to my bad. <laughs> Available on vinyl once again, but also available on cassette. This is on my wish list. Anybody want, wants to donate to the channel, hit me up on Instagram. This can be your do donation. This bad boy on cassette. Because I know people wanted to donate last live stream. a good way to do it. Just hit me up on Instagram. Bastum Patricidal Lust. It comes in all these crazy colors, but I just have an old black vinyl copy I got for $16 from this random website. I just got lucky one day. And I love that Paolo Giarde painting. Like, I'm not sure if they're gonna make it like a gatefold with the reissue and stuff, but like, I always loved this Paolo Giarde piece. It's just so fucking sick and just cool. I'm pretty sure like that's the CD cover. Like I, I would definitely have that as the actual cover, but. It was probably censored because there's a naked guy, but yeah, I need to get this on cassette. If anybody wants to help, hit me up on Instagram. But I really need to thank John Randall for snagging the new Siege column, Dark Side Legions. Like I said, this is one of my favorite albums of the year. It's up there with Worm Gloom Lord. Black Curse, like, this is just so on the money of, like, what I knew Siege Column was capable of, and trust me, that you know, they've already put out good shit, but, like, this really was what I always wanted, you know, to explain to people what Siege Column sounded like in a live setting, and... Here is the best example possible. Siege Column, Dark Side Legions on Nuclear War Now. Awesome stuff, and congratulations, guys, for a killer fucking album. No sophomore slump here. 
But as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hey.